Hi everyone, welcome to part 3 of this series. So in part 1, we learned how to use a recycle view. So the use case is a playlist, right? So for example, the user can add in his playlist. So currently, I only got 3 songs. And we learned how to use the recycle view to populate the recycle view for our playlist. So that is part 1. And then in part 2, uh, basically what we did was that we made a persistent playlist. So we made use of shared preferences by using a third-party class known as JSON. So basically, uh, after we created the playlist, uh, we used JSON to convert them to a JSON string. And then we store them as a shared preferences. So now when we go to the playlist after I restarted the app, The playlist is still there. So the data is now persistent. So even if you reboot the phone or reboot the emulator or you queue off the app, the data will be persistent. So in the in this part three, uh, basically we want to learn how to use the search bar. So for example, I search for the way the way you look tonight. So basically I will be doing live filtering of all the song title that matches the way or fly me to the moon right so these are the the songs that i've added to the playlist that matches the search terms and if right so you can see nothing here because none of the song titles matches the keyword okay so now we want to implement the search view uh, in this activity underscore favorite layout so uh, we are going to allow some space here for the search view so for this particular recycle view I'm going to uh, put in 100 pixel right so that you will start 100 pixel from the top next I'm going to the search view so I can use the search icon search yeah so there you go search view so I'm, I'm going to drop it in and then uh, the height I want it to be exactly 100 uh, dp and I'm going to constrain to the top and constrain to the start and also constrain to the to the end alright and I'm going to give an ID so I'm, I'm going to call this search view Okay, so this is the song adapter class. Uh, if you if you are not sure how what, what is the purpose of this class, you can look at part one of the recycle view series, whereby I go into detail and explain uh, the the purpose of all these codes here. Right. So now, uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to implement implement okay this particular class known as filterable. Okay. You are going to get an error here, and if you alternate enter, right? And because we are we are implementing another class, so we need to implement the methods of that class. Or if we choose not to implement the methods of the class, we need to make this particular class abstract. So we want to do the former, which is to implement methods. Right? Get filter. Click OK. So basically, uh, there is now this particular method okay which we need to uh, implement all right so the idea of doing the filtering is that we need to have a uh, another source all right so i'm going to copy this okay another source and i'm going to call the name of this source to be m context filter Right. So eventually, uh, this this was the original source, and now this particular list will become the source for our for our recycle list. This will be the original unadulterated source. Okay. So now I'm going to this dot 
m context filter will be equals to m context right so at this moment uh, when this song adapter is being instantiated uh, both both the instances will contain the same thing but later on you will see that uh, when we when we are implementing this particular method here it is going to change the content of this particular list right so that our recycle will only show what is being filtered and if the user cancel the search then basically we are going to revert to the original list all right so now uh, we need to implement the methods for get filter okay before we implement uh, these two methods okay so I, I just want to change all the source to be using from this particular source m context of filter okay and also over here m context dot filter all right okay so let's start to let's start to uh, so-called do the codes for this particular method so basically this method is to perform the filtering based on what the user type and then whenever the filtering has been done it's going to call this method and this method is going to cause the recycle, recycle view to refresh so that only those criteria that matches the keyword will be shown all right okay so if string char string will be equals to constraint dot to string okay if char string if it's empty all right so uh, when is it empty uh, if the user have typed something but then the user backspace to clear it so if it's empty then basically what I want to do is I want to set the the source to be equals to the the original all right so if you recall I'm going to make this one the original okay the one that will not be affected by anything okay else okay so I'm going to create a list here list a song and I'm going to call this filtered list will be equals to new array list okay so I'm going to do a for okay m context so that's the original one if I get if I get the if I get the first element okay assuming i is zero get title so basically i'm only matching uh, all right so my apologies so so here should be the condition for uh, okay let's use the shortcut to create the for for all right so this is a classic for loop and uh, I'm, I'm going to iterate Okay, all the items of the original list which is dot size so that will give me the length uh, the number of items inside this list so if m context dot get i yeah so because we are using a list now so it is not the triangular it's not the the square bracket okay but rather dot get i dot get title right and uh, we don't know whether the user is going to key in capital letter or small letter so I'm going to uh, convert to lowercase right okay then dot contains right contains let me just shift this one away contain what okay contain this one char string dot to lowercase right so if it contain so that means we have a match so I'm going to take this particular list right this one dot add okay add in that particular item m context dot get i 
Okay, so after the for loop, uh, we let the m context filtered be equals to the okay be equals to this list filter list. Okay, and uh, we must do a few other things. So uh, we need to create this particular class uh, filtered results. Filter results is equals to new filter results. Okay, filter results dot values will be equals to m contact list filter. Okay, and then I'm going to return this one. So basically, uh, everything is everything is kind of wired for you. So when this thing is happening. Then it's adding to the new new list, right? So it is going to in turn call this particular method. So for this particular method, uh, basically what I need to do is uh, I'm going to say m context filter will now be equals to uh, results dot values. Okay, and I need to cast it to this particular type. So let me see. Yeah, so I can use the alternate enter to cast it with this type, and then I call upon the recycle view to to be refreshed. Okay, by calling this method notify data set change. Okay, and and I'm done for for this one. All right. So the next thing is in the in the favorite activity. Right. We need to uh, get the input. Right, and then send over to the song adapter. Okay, so now we are at the favorite activity Java. So I'm going to uh, create a variable search view. Search view will be equals to find view by id or dot id dot search view. Okay, remember the search view UI that we have. Uh, put into the favorite layout, right? So this is the one. Okay, then search view dot. Okay, I'm going to create the listener, right? So the listener I'm going to use is the uh, set on query text listener, right? So you, it's going to listen to any text, and whenever there's a text, okay, it's going to Fire the methods, right? Okay, so I'm going to put new search view dot on query text listener. All right. So basically, there are two methods here. So one is uh, whenever the text change, okay, it's going to call this method, and whenever the user press. Uh, enter right it's going to call this method so I think what is more relevant to us is this particular method okay so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, call adapter right so adapter basically is the song adapter which we added in the filter so now we can call the method get filter okay dot filter the new text, all right. New text. Okay, and I think it is done. All right, so let's run it. All right, so I'm going to the recycle view. Okay, so the moment I click on this and the moment I type in something, it's going to trigger this and start the ball rolling. So I'm going to put B, right? So it's going to filter all those that is B. Okay, moon, right? So everything that has M O O. Okay, and then if I'm going to just delete them away, right? So I'm getting back the original list. So the way. Okay, so it's working, right? So you can see that uh, 
most of the codes is happening at this long adapter class which we have to uh, implement uh, this particular class filterable right which we have to uh, fill in the methods for perform filtering and basically this is the part where we decide which part of the text okay that we are going to consider to match whatever keywords that the user type into the search view Okay, so uh, that is the end of this search view tutorial. Thank you for watching.